What's up, Pack? My name is Wolf21. Welcome to a tutorial install for Minecraft OMG What? And also some insight because Minecraft did just recently update to 1.4.7, and all the mods in my list are not updated completely to 1.4.7. What I'll do is I'll leave all the links down below of all the mods I use for Minecraft version 1.4.6. I'll tell you the specific one that you need to look out for. That's the biggest one. One that'll be the biggest culprit as far as any any mods that are not working for that particular list for Minecraft version 1.4.6. But I'll also walk you through on how to install it for 1.4.7. So the first thing you need to download is the core applications for Mo creatures, which is actually updated for 1.4.7. Um, when you do scroll down in the form link, there's the actual Mo creature zip file. Um, there's the current version of Forge, which is 6.6.0.497. Now, this one is going to be the biggest culprit as far as mods that are not going to be working for 1.4.6. If you happen to have a backdated version of, of Minecraft, um, then this one is going to be the biggest one. I believe you need 6.6.0.485 uh, is, is the one you need for all the particular mods I have installed for Minecraft OMG Whites. Um, I think there's one mod in there that requires... Um, 4.8.5. Again, I'll leave the uh, the Forge link down below of all the different old versions um, you can download possible for Minecraft Forge. This tutorial install will be for Minecraft version 1.4.7 1. as a base structure. So, because this one uh, requires uh, the GUI API, um, the mob spawner. It's also required. I have Optifine for texture pack, but also not just Optifine, but also has the GLSL shaders, and that's the core. All the other all the other mods get installed via the Forge client, and all you do is drop the zip file in the mods folder in Minecraft. So once you have these zip files downloaded, Mo creatures, the Forge, the latest version of the Forge client for for this particular version of Mo, of Mo Creatures, if you want to run it for 1.4.7, the GUI API, the Mob Spawner, leave the shaders download for 1.4.7. Also on here, it tells you that you need Optifine um, for 1.4.6, HD B3 Ultra or B HD B4 Ultra, um, B3 B4 Ultra. So when you click on that, when you go to Optifine's page, when you scroll down, you'll see... You'll see that there's the um, Ultra version B4. And if you scroll down, there's the B3 version. I'll just download, download the, B, the B4 version. And also, if you do want to use the shaders for Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders, there's also links within here. There's also different ones. I use Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders and search for version um, 08. So when you go to Sonic Ether's Unbelievable Shaders form page, you scroll down, you'll see a, ver a section called v 8 there's a whole bunch of di different configurations you can use default i use ultra it's slightly configured um slightly altered but you have different options to choose from these are all zip files just download all those files and you have more options later on when you get into minecraft so the first thing we're going to do is um, actually use a program called 7-zip it acts the same fashion as winrar 7-zip is a free application that link will be down below also the first thing we're do, going to do, as we always do, is back up your Minecraft files. I completely back up the entire folder so that in case anything happens, I can completely replace it. And it's always the best option to do. If you don't, then don't complain about it if you lose anything. First thing you're going to do is you're going to click on the globe in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen. And you're going to search for, you're going to type in percent app data percent sign. And you're going to hit enter. Okay, after this comes up, you're going to see, you're going to be in your user your username app data roaming. You're going to see a .minecraft folder. You're going to double click on that double on that .minecraft folder and you're going to go into the folder. You're going to see everything within here. What you're going to do is you're going to highlight everything within there or hit control A on your keyboard to highlight everything in there. Right click and choose copy. On your desktop or your place of choosing, you're going to right click 
new folder, and we're just going to call this Backup Minecraft. Double click to open up the backup folder, right click and choose paste. And there you got a full backup of your full of your entire dot Minecraft folder. Awesome. So we're going to close out of that. Next thing we're going to do is I'm going to highlight everything within here, except for the last login. And you can do servers.dat too. That actually holds all your server information um, within Minecraft. And your last login is if you have your password saved. So I'm going to hit delete. Once that is completed and out, you can actually still keep this open. We're just going to drag this over over here. You go into launch Minecraft. You still have your password information there. I'm going to log in. It's going to re-download Minecraft. Again, I like to start with a complete complete clean version of Minecraft in this way. As we can see, it's verified it's 1.4.7. And now we can actually close out of Minecraft. Now, if you still have your .minecraft folder open, awesome. You're going to see everything that got repopulated in there from the download. What you're going to do is you're going to double click on the bin folder and you're going to look for a program or a file called Minecraft. This is what you're going to right click. So I use 7-zip and open archive. This is all the contents within the Minecraft.jar file. The first thing we're going to do is going to click on the meta-inf folder once, hit delete on your keyboard and remove it. Now, with keeping the dot Minecraft the the Minecraft.jar file open in 7-zip, what we're going to do next is we're going to actually download it all of the files I said before from the forum posts. I'll drag that over there. So we have the Mo Creatures mod downloaded, the GUI API, custom mob spawner with Forge, the latest version of Forge, Optifine with the specific version it required for GLSL shaders. So the first thing that we're going to install is Minecraft Forge. So with Forge is you're going to, you're going to right click on the Forge zip, 7-zip, open archive. i drag this over to the right. I'm going to put them side by side. What you do is if for the Forge zip, you're going to hit Control A to highlight everything within here and click and drag it over to the left hand side where the other dot class files are. Drop it off. Confirm file copy, hit yes. And then we're going to close out of the forge zip. The next thing we're going to install is the GUI API. Same fashion. Right click, 7-zip, open archive. You're going to click and drag or hit Control and your keyboard to highlight everything within this particular file. Click and drag them over to the left, drop it off to the Minecraft.jar, hit yes to replace, and then close out of the GUI API. Now what technically, technically what you can do right now is launch Minecraft to verify that it does work. Um, next thing we're gonna do is actually, gonna, while we still have this open, the Minecraft.jar, click on the meta-inf, and make sure that folder, no matter what, is deleted after any other installs. And close out of the Minecraft.jar. We're going to launch Minecraft. And because Forge is installed, we're going to get a different pop-up saying that it's going to set up the environment. Once it's done, the bottom left-hand corner is going to say that Forge is now installed with four active mods. You can actually click on mods over here, and I'll show you all the mods that are currently installed in the Minecraft. We can click done and then we can click quit. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click back on the Minecraft jar in your .minecraft folder, bin folder, 7-zip, open archive, reopen that back up again because we closed out of it. Next thing we're going to install is Optifine. So the Optifine version 1.4.6 um, HDU, I have the B4 version. So right click, 7-zip, open archive, and drag it over to the right. Okay, going to hit Control A to highlight every single file within the Optifine zip. And we're going to click and drag it over to the left-hand side on, to drop it under the Minecraft.jar. Drop it off, confirm file copy, and done. Now we're going to close out of Optifine zip. The next thing we're going to install is the GLSL shaders. 
for for 1.4.7. I'm going to right click on the zip, 7 zip, open archive, hit control A to highlight all the files within that zip, click and drag it over to the left hand side and drop it under the minecraft.jar. Drop it off, confirm file copy, and done. Click X to close out of the shaders and also click the X out of the minecraft.jar. Now those are the core applications that are required for 90% of the mods that we install for the the OMG What series. All the other mods that get installed get put under, if you go under the .minecraft folder, you're going to see a mods folder. This is where the zip files go to install the mods. That's what mod, that's what Forge does. So the custom mob spawner and the Mo Creatures mod are the ones that we need to drop into the mods folder under .minecraft. This is where everything is held. So Thomcraft, Metallurgy, Mistcraft, Raise Minimap, Weather and Tornado, Iron Chests, all the mods that are listed down below for I have for 1.4.6 are all for that go under the mods folder. There's nothing else that you have to do to the to the Minecraft.jar, which is that's what makes it really easy. The core applications I said were Forge, the GUI API, Optifine, and Shaders is what goes into the Minecraft.jar. And it's really as simple as that. Now to test this out, we can launch Minecraft. It's gonna set up as always, Forge always sets up. Now, because those two extra zips are in the mods folder, now we have six mods loaded instead of four. If you click on mods, you're going to see Optifine is also installed, the custom mob spawner, and also Mo Creatures. So now if you actually create a new world, just for that, create a new world. We can actually verify that everything did get installed. Hopefully very quickly, we can find um, some Mo Creatures. And we're actually going to turn this down, way down. Back. Okay. Okay, see, so we got the, uh, the Wiggly Trees, which is part of the shaders. There's our chest. Hopefully we can just... Uh, Put an extra space in there. Nope, didn't want to do that. There we go. Okay. Oh, there's a bunny. See? Okay. Hey, I'm right clicking on you. Oh, pet name. Um, bunny. <laughs> Alright, so we got bunnies. So, see, mo creatures definitely works. Okay, I'm going to close out of Minecraft, save and quit. Now, what you could do to test to install is when you're in the .minecraft folder in mods, you can actually drag in all those other particular mods into the mods folder and test them out individually. So you can put in, say, extra biomes and then raise minimap and then inventory tweaks or put in weather and tornado or thomcraft. You can drag each individual mod in and if Minecraft crashes, then you it's a particular version of forge that's messing with one of the particular mods like i said for minecraft version uh 1.4.6 for the all the mods i have installed from for omg what you need forge version 6.6.0.485 for minecraft version 1.4.6 Again, that's the core applications you need to get this set up. Again, just look at the forum posts themselves to see if it requires Forge to install. I said for Mo Creatures, that's all it requires is Forge to drop that zip into there. Also, the custom mob spawner. Same like extra, extra biomes. All it requires is Forge and then the extra biomes uh, zip file put into the mods folder under .minecraft. Again, this has helped you out. Please leave a like and a comment down below. 
Um, again, make sure you do pay attention to the version of the that's across the top in the title. Also down below, information. This is for Minecraft version 1.4.7 with some insight to 1.4.6. Thank you very much for watching and your, again, your continued support. My name is Wolf21, and as always, remember to rock on.